Are you utilizing content effectively to help you become a great engineering leader? If not, here's how. Here at the Engineering Management Institute, we're focused on helping engineers become better managers and leaders. And one thing that you can do to help you on that path to engineering leadership is to intake information from different content sources, digest it, and use it effectively to build your skill sets. Questions I get a lot from engineers are, what content should I be taking in? And then how do I use it effectively? So let's talk about that a little bit. In terms of the content that you should read or intake, I recommend content that's focused on helping you achieve your goals. So if your goal is to become a highly effective project manager, then you're going to want to take in content around project management. If you feel like your people skills or communication skills need to be improved, then focus on content around that. If you want to become a better public speaker, then you should be listening to podcast episodes or watching videos about improving your speaking skills. So that's kind of step number one. Step number two is digesting and utilizing the content effectively. Something that I try to do when I'm either reading an article or reading a book, I read a lot of books, is I ask myself when I'm finished taking that content in, how can I use this content in the next 10 days? So I force myself to take you know, one strategy out of that book and start practicing it. I force myself to think about one thing I heard on the podcast or saw on the video and use it in the next 10 days. And if I can't find something and I don't use it in the next 10 days, I'm probably not going to really latch on to it and use it at all. So you're looking for those big drivers that can help you in your career that you can extract from these different content sources. So number one, make sure that the content in general, the theme of the content is relevant to where you're headed in your career and the goals you want to achieve. And then number two, challenge yourself to use something from that content in the next 10 days. And if you do, it was probably something worth reading or taking in. If not, just let it go and go on to the next content source. Hope you found this message helpful. Please subscribe here on our YouTube channel to get our weekly videos and we will continue to help you engineer your own success.